Hey good folks, I'm Ben Avram here for CG Tuts and welcome to the fifth part of this uh, ice cream bar tutorial. In this lesson we are going to separate the different elements in our scene into different render layers. One thing before we get started with those render layers, I didn't uh, create a shader for the shadow catcher and we'll do that right now. Let's uh, reveal our hyper shade. The shader I'm going to use is called Use Background, so we'll just type in Use, and there it is, Use Background. Just one click on it. We can uh, stick with the Use Background name, but I would like to name things according to their uh, job. So, Shadow Catcher, Shader, and we don't want any reflectivity, we only want to use the shadow. Apply it to the Shadow Catcher plane. And we are done with this. Now let's reveal everything. Everything except the chocolate chunks. We already rendered those, so we don't really need them. And let's jump over to the channel box. Well, actually, as I said, we don't need the chunks, so we'll uncheck those. For both the ice cream bars, we are going to create a beauty layer, an ambient occlusion layer, an RGB layer, and a floor shadow layer. So we'll start off with the melting chocolate ice cream bar. These names are getting a bit too long for my taste, so to make it short, we're just going to use melting and coated as code names. One more thing before we start creating our layers, that would be making sure that the backdrop and the image-based lightning isn't uh, included in the final render. So we'll uh, mark the backdrop and go to Attribute Editor, Backdrop Shape and make sure that the primary visibility is set to off or isn't marked. And same goes for the image based lightning, render stats and primary visibility off. Very well. We'll mark ice cream bar melting chocolate and the studio and create a new layer from selected objects. We'll rename this to melting beauty and just make sure that uh, settings are as I left them primary visibility is set to off and off okay so this will be the beauty pass and while I'm at it I'll set the settings so uh, quality all settings are as I left them for the chunks which are good for me in the comment section I would like to change it to Melting Beauty and we are rendering from frame 1 to 1200 and we need to create a layer overhead for the name and we are using camera 1 which we will later on adjust to fit our animation and the settings we are using is HD 720. Next we'll create the ambient occlusion layer We'll mark the ice cream bar melting chocolate and inside the studio we want to mark the lights and the image based lightning and create a new render layer out of it and we'll call it melting AO which stands for ambient occlusion obviously. To quickly create an ambient occlusion material for the ice cream bar we can just right click on the render layer, go to attributes and hit on presets occlusion and that would automatically create a surface shader which is applied to all the meshes in this scene and creates ambient occlusion and if we'll get a bit closer here we can even see how it looks so there's our ambient occlusion and as you can see we have an alpha channel here all very nice okay next is the RGB layer We'll mount, once again we'll mark the ice cream bar melting chocolate, the lights and the image based lightning, create a new layer out of it and we'll call this one melting RGB and let's go into our hyper shade and for the RGB we are going to use the same shader only in different colors so we'll need to duplicate it three times, one, two, three. This one will be the red and we'll set the out color to red. This one will be the green. Out color would be green. And this will be the blue. And out color would be blue. Now, in this particular layer, 
we are going to color the chocolate in red, the ice cream will be colored in green, and the stick will be blue. This will come in handy when we'll get to compositing in After Effects later on. I would like to separate the different elements in the scene to be able to color correct them individually. Let's uh, actually take a quick look, render at how it looks. As you can see, flat colors, no uh, shading whatsoever, which is perfect for separating the elements. And obviously it doesn't affect the other render layers. Next is the uh, shadow catcher layer. That will mark the ice cream bar melting chocolate and the shadow catcher layer. And we'll create a new layer out of it. We'll call this one melting floor shadow. Now, one thing I have forgot, that is to create another light for the floor shadow. I'll just duplicate this one. It's automatically added to this render layer. Make sure it's set directly above the ice cream bar. I'll just reset all the settings here to zero and raise it up and rotate it on the X axis to minus 90 degrees and make it five on five on five raise it a bit to the top. The new light isn't uh, added only to the melting floor shadow layer, it's been added to all the other layers, so I would have to exclude it out of the other render layers. Uh, to the melting RGB render layer, and while the light is still checked, right click on the render layer and hit remove selected objects. And we need to repeat the process to all the other render layers. And for some reason it doesn't work here, so at this layer we'll go to the Attribute Editor and go into Intensity and shut off the Intensity and create a layer over it. So that way it doesn't cast any lights and we, we are not bothered by it's been in the uh, render layer. And set the Intensity at the wanted uh, render layer to 1.4 and just in case create a layer over it. And one more thing we need to do here, we want to render only the shadow. So if we'll take a quick render right now, we can see what, what we get. And this is the result you get. We don't really see anything, but if we'll switch to alpha, you can see we have the shadow. However, we do still have the reflection here. And obviously we have still the ice cream bar, which we don't want. So here's what we're going to do. Let's back off a bit. Mark the chocolate, go into render stats and uncheck primary visibility, which will automatically create a layer over it. Do the same for the ice cream and the same for the stick. And not only that, we don't want it to be visible in reflection. And just for superstitious reasons, we'll also uncheck the visible in reflections. Even though we don't really have reflections in the scene, well, as I said, Superstitious reasons. Again, take a quick render. So now we don't see anything in our render, but if we we'll switch to alpha, we can see we have the shadow, which is exactly what we wanted. So let's go back into our channel box. One more thing before we are really done is just making sure we are using the correct names for the render layers. This one is melting AO, just create a layer over it. This one is melting RGB, create a layer over it, and this one is melting floor shadow, and create a layer over it. So now we need to repeat the same process for the ice cream bar coded. So mark ice cream bar coded, and let's open up the studio. We don't want the third light, we'll just use the backdrop, the two first lights, and the image based light and create a new layer of it. We'll call this one Coated Beauty. Make sure the file name is Coated Beauty and create a layer over it. For the RGB, we need again to choose the ice cream bar, the two lights and the image based lightning. Create a new layer over it. Call it Coated AO for ambient occlusion. Simply use the surface shader, mark the ice cream bar and the stick and apply the surface shader to it 
okay this is the AO make sure it's called coded AO and create a layer over it next is the RGB so once again same settings this will be coded RGB RGB although in this case it's just GB because we don't have the, the chocolate I'm gonna use green for the ice cream and blue for the stick and last but not least the shadow catcher the ice cream bar colored the third light and the shadow catcher plain create a new layer and this will be coded floor shadow let's mark the ice cream and go to the attribute editor make sure the primary visibility is set to off same goes for the stick and reflection and for superstitious reasons the reflection as well same for the ice cream and rename it to floor shadow and create level over it and we are basically good to go all we have left to do is set up our camera and actually let's go into melting beauty to see I think we can go somewhere around here. Um, actually, I would like to remain in the middle for the X. This is pretty good. Now that I see it, I think I shouldn't have uh, rotate the chocolate, so I can just flip it now. And all is well, no harm done. Even though I won't be seeing this part, it's good to know that I won't get any tearing in the chocolate cover so I'm pretty happy with this result I think we can go ahead and render oh yeah one more thing sorry my bad in the coded beauty layers we don't really need to use all 1200 frames we only need the first 600 so we'll create a layer over it for it and switch it to not 60 but 600 singles for all uh, coded layers just don't forget to create a layer over it or you will find yourself with a few frames short so I think we are all set and done we are rendering in camera one in all layers yes I think we are good to go okay so next we need to render out all these render layers and in our next lesson, we'll import all our renders into After Effects and start with the compositing.